Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. The leader of the Attitude Era, the Rattlesnake. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252. The phenomenal AJ Styles out here tonight, guys. He really is undeniable in the squared circle as any superstar we've ever seen in this business. You are absolutely right, Michael. Phenomenal, undeniable, the list goes on. And Styles sets out to prove that every time the bell rings. He also has both the unmatched in-ring skills and the supreme confidence to back it all up. But that doesn't change your point, Byron, about how he still always steps into the ring with something to prove. We should see that in full effect here in this one. And waiting to strike across the ring is the Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. What makes Stone Cold such a dangerous opponent is his ability to strike out without any warning, shifting the odds in his favor. On top of that, Corey, Stone Cold's resiliency only adds to the element of danger. You might get him down, but keeping him down is the real task. Whatever's playing here can't be good. this match fast. That holds back Styles' attack. Stone Cold Steve Austin has him where he wants him. That's his pile driver. You hit a move like that, you're not just trying to win, you're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. Styles taking it by surprise. No way! Slingshot sent on! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Boom! Nice hip toss. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. What's he about to do? No, oh, someone call a dentist. And now thrown back into the ring. Four. Caught with a lariat. No, take it off. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Step suplex. Very nice. position here. Oh my goodness. He's back down the right. And Austin raising one up for the WWE Universe here. Uh oh. And a suplex. He's got the answer for that one. Stepping things up a little bit. The superstar is starting to build. Stone Cold in some serious trouble. AJ's It's locked in! Gets to the ropes, and that's gonna cause the ref to break the hold. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Ducking out of trouble. Vicious right for him. Not the position you want to be in right now. Right up the left. Oh, look at this. 
Look at the suplex off the top rope. Top rope. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Kicks out. He still has life. What a match. Climbing the turnbuckle now. I think we know what's coming next. Here we go. Oh, and he doesn't come out. Dial trying to get some, though it was just brought to him there. That's the <laughs> to get the shoulder up there. Anger is starting to show in the face of Austin. I think the Rattlesnake will do anything to close this out. There they go. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Take down. Look at the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. I'm going to tap out here. But it ain't going to matter. He's still doing a lot of damage, though. Looking to free the arm and does just that. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. There he goes, right into the corner. A stone cold with the knees to the midsection. Look at that. The end for AJ is looking inevitable here. Stunner! AJ's eyes are glazed over. The oh, shoulder up before three. AJ's pit bull mentality wouldn't allow him to stay down. And Austin is in a state of disbelief. Thought he had this match in hand, but it will continue. It's been an hellacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's gonna end. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Forearm smash! Hooked up, and DDT! And it's Austin who finds himself on the receiving end there. Austin being tested in a way he rarely has over the course of his career. Well executed suplex. Here comes Styles. But you can never count Austin out. Austin with a reversal. to back and down here.
say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. And one of the most awe-inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing chaos from Death Valley. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Detroit. Undertaker, of course, long known as the best pure striker in all of WWE. He's not the type of competitor you want to get into a fist fight with. Even if that wasn't his reputation, I don't know that you want to get into a fist fight with a superstar the size of Taker Cole. But yeah, you have to watch out for his strike. Just his heavy hitting offense in general. Yeah, Undertaker's combination of power and agility allows him to really pack a punch. Pun intended. Too bad for him. He's got to deal with Big Kev, one of the best big men in the history of WWE. Nash has battled his way through a tremendous injury history and is still competing at an extremely high level. Kevin Nash is an all-around problem because he's not the kind of guy to let you launch out to the outside. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, my God. Undertaker counters. Corey, we talk a lot about if certain legendary superstars have still got it. And you know that question's come up a lot lately with regards to The Undertaker. How can the dead man pro be still a force to be reckoned with here? I think he can do it by beating his opponent down with his otherworldly strength or by making their blood run cold with his terrifying agility. Bottom line, just by being his usual intimidating self. And they just got back in. There's the big boot. Strong right form. What a punch. This is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Colossal boot. Undertaker looking moral here. match as long and as far as he needs to. He was elusive there. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, it looks like Nash has plenty of diesel left in the tank. Face Buster plants him. And guys, that just made Undertaker look a bit more mortal as blood starts to stream down his face. And an elbow drop too. Set back into the ring. Nash, he may be thinking high risk. Misses. 
Undertaker saw it coming. A stalemate of counters. Oh. Oh, a clubbing blow to the back. Ooh, smash mouth offense from Kevin Nash. Every bit is in. He's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. This is not going to end well for Nash's opponent. What a choke slam. Shoulders down. Two. Oh, oh, the shoulder out in the last moment. I thought for sure he was done. Nash, they're going to close this one out. I think we know what Nash is thinking here. The Big Red Machine is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. It's survey time at NXT! And his opponent, representing the NWO from my... Scott all staring down his competition. Expect Hall to remain calm, cool, and collected throughout this match. He's one of the most intelligent superstars this business has ever seen. Every trick of the trade is in Hall's back pocket. And Hall's probably going to put them all to good use here. And across the ring stands the big red machine, a being of pure terror and power. The Hall of Famer, Kane. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more sadistic superstar once the bell rings, Corey. Kane's entire strategy revolves around incapacitating your mind and destroying your body. It truly takes a fearless superstar to stand up to him. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Mm. Inverted an atomic drop. Ooh. And it appears the fear factor not at play there. Kane is being met toe-to-toe -to -toe with a resistance he didn't expect. Yeah, Hall being smart with what he's targeted. A back suplex right onto the apron. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. And Scott Hall able to reverse that. Kane sent flying to the outside. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And how can you contend with the power of a superstar like Kane? Just accept that you are in for the fight of your life. Kane's game is as mental as it is physical. His opponents know he's going to try to take them apart. If you prepare for the worst, you got nowhere to go but up. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Oh, 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 that's going to sting. Kane's piercing gaze landing squarely on his opponent. He went right into that turnbuckle. Close line in the corner. And here's a cover. He forces a break before the count of two. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Kane gets that set right back to him. Choke slam. Perfect timing on that maneuver from Hall. 
I assure you, he has more in his back pocket. Look. Got Hall. He's got a lot more wants him. Up and... He saw it coming. Scott Hall forced to play defense here. A bad punch. Ouch. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Oh, my goodness. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. A big red monster came. for Scott. from Hall is weighing heavily now. Ooh, nasty kick. Vicious right forearm. Catching the punch. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Got Hall with the grip and the choke slam. Say hello to the bad guy and goodbye to his opponent. Oh, oh, side of the edge. Oh, my God. just finished things. Oh, he kicked out. And now is when things are real scary. Like Haddonfield's finest. Kane just keeps coming back again and again. Guys, Hall can't believe it. That move has finished off so many of his competitors. Establishing dominance, followed by the stop. Basement drop kick. He is just reeling from that offense. That kind of offense from Kane being fueled by Hellfire and Brimstone. There's no denying the amount of confidence Hall has. Pow! Right in the kisser. Didn't see it coming. Put into the corner now. some blood on Scott's face. Basement drop kick. Hit into the top now. Incoming. Oh, no. A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. And a right hand to the jaw. My goodness. Elbow drop. Stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra torque. He's giving up, but you can 
tell his opposition doesn't care one bit. Lining it up. Oh, right, right. This Herculean power deadlift back suplex lives to fight another day. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh my lord! And a right hand to the jaw. My goodness! Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Kane's favor now. Shoulders down. No, he kicks out. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. He's taking this to the floor now. Ooh, nasty kick. A humiliating slap. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I think they're waiting right out of you. Oh. And he goes into the ring. Four. And the devil's favorite demon turns his twisted eyes. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Scott is in command right now. And it looks like it's actually Kane in the fight of his life. This guy prepared for the worst, and he's currently seeing the best case scenario. Is it enough? The cover to absolute power. No way. No way. I refuse to believe that wasn't three. Hall's locked in the crosshairs now. Make way for the double champ. And his opponent, representing the NWO. And we begin with Karrion Cross, who really has a new lease on life since his return to WWE. Fall and pray are the words of House Cross, and he didn't really get a chance to show what he could do the first time. He has a, he's going for the pin. Slips the shoulder up. We'll need to get a little more to put this one away. He's got him scouted. Go, go. 
Hogan getting out of harm's way. Right to the kidneys from behind. Reversal. What a counter. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Punishing their opponent. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. some damage already. Right. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. If Karrion Cross wants to come away with a win, he needs to take a methodical approach. Focus on taking his opponent apart one piece at a time. If he rushes things, he risks making a mistake that leaves him vulnerable. I'm inclined to agree, Corey. Cross can be almost unstoppable when he has that single-minded intensity in the ring and doesn't let anything distract him from the destruction of his opponent. Uses the edge of the knee. Gut wrench applied. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. things would be over. Oh, that opens the door for Hogan. Uh-oh. Hogan's offense gets foiled. One after another. And Hogan falling victim to a slew of offense. And Karrion Cross has that single-minded on the destruction of his opponent. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Whoa! Leg trapped, looking for the heel hook stretch. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Just look at Cross gain the momentum in this one. Carry and Cross making this fight scarier with every maneuver. Yeah. He's returning fire. Hogan managing to get some control back now. Hogan weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Oh. Planning on what to do next. Oh, it took too long setting up for that maneuver. Solar Plexus and a little disrespect for dessert. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. Setting up for something here. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. You must have seen that coming. Hollywood 
Cross, watch this power. F10 face buster. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Oh my lord, how in the world is he still going? Oh, turn out the lights just yet. Oh, shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win. Win on your opponent. Sky high. Splash. Looking for the victory. Two. Got the shoulder up at the last possible moment. Every kick out taking so much energy to muster. Elbow drop. A couple of them connecting. And then a little and a little disrespect for dessert. Have you ever seen such disdain from this superstar for the other? This is so chaotic. They've taken so it to a new level here tonight. Well, I don't think either one of these superstars will ever be the same after this match. Boys. Uh-oh. Once in WCW's boardroom, he's now in the WWE Hall of Fame. Who would have thunk it? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind tight And his opponent, representing Chaos, from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at... And this should be interesting, Corey. We don't get to see Eric Bischoff compete too often. Gotta say, this is not something I ever thought I'd see, but if there's anybody who could surprise you, it's Easy e don't underestimate him, especially with the MVP roller. So crafty is Eric Bischoff. We'll see if it gets him the win here tonight. And he's stepping into the ring with a monster. T-Bar has used his disappointment and his anger as fuel to become the deadliest possible version of himself. A WWE career of being passed over awakens something inhuman in T-Bar. Under retribution, he's finally got the chance to show everyone what he can do. Oh, 
look at this. Oh, from the rope. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. To stomp in every single part of his body. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. It won't be easy for him, but what would you say are Eric Bischoff's keys to victory here? Thanks to the NWO, Eric Bischoff is always thinking three steps ahead. And little known fact, he actually does have some martial arts experience. If he gets his opponent into a false sense of security, he's got just enough in his arsenal that he could pull off the upset. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Outside count outs legal in this match. Delivered into the barricade. Back and forth from these competitors. Uh oh, look at this. Single leg takedown. What's coming up next? <laughs> I know. Byron, pay attention. Take note. You're about to learn a full wins or not. What in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness. Kick to the spine. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He foiled that attempt. Brought out of ringside and back to the mat. Big boot. Vicious. Incoming. Big time cover. And he easily stops the ref's count. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Choke slam backbreaker. He's starting to struggle here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. <laughs> and the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. That unraveled on T-Bar. Able to evade. Precision strike to the back of the neck. of this matchup. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. T-Bar with the retaliation. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Oh, I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. That's insane. Feast your eyes on destruction. T-Bar just took all his bothered up anger and unloaded on that one.
bar. Oh, it's the mark. taking that maneuver. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this. Or Perhaps the best female high flyer in WWE, Io Sky. You can never discount the backup, the control on the ground every time Io is around. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Before touching down here in WWE, Sky was a mega star in Japan where her aerial abilities grabbed her no shortage of attention and titles. Her high flying and high impact offense puts Io on another level. When she sees a vulnerable target, she won't hesitate to climb the ropes and hit them with a devastating attack. Yeah, Io is kind of like a heat seeking missile. Once she's in the air, all you can do is brace for impact. And we'll see if she's ready for the chaotic style of Alba Fire. And that's what makes Fire such a threat, Saxton. While her offense seems chaotic and frantic, it's actually systematic havoc. Sharp elbow. Ooh, what a nasty kick. And into the quick cover. And only a one count. Maybe she knew that wasn't going to put her away, but it definitely kept her down for a beat. Taking off from the ropes. Alba stringing together a stockpile of offense. And I don't think anything can stop fire now. Wow, Jack! Corey, if you're EO Sky, how do you go about trying to capture the win here? You know what, Cole? I'd try to be as unpredictable as possible. When it comes to EO, every opponent's obviously going to expect aerial attacks, so she's got to mix it up. Try a variety of offensive maneuvers. Keep them guessing. Backdrop super on a high angle right across the shoulder. She's fighting back. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Oh, that got turned around on Sky. Elbow smash. Fire digging deep into the arsenal here with the going bomb. What an incredible attack that was from Alba. Systematic chaos at work. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Off the rope. Oh, just completely off target there. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Try quick to counter. Face buster. Four. Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. That looks painful. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Io's been on the receiving end for a bit now. This is a more daunting task than Io bargained for.
Taking it outside the ring now. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh. And now she's looking to go top rope. Drain Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Lands face first. Alba getting excited. Who knows what she has in store? Big miss right there. Oh, nice balance into the knee drop. Counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out. Matt Slam with some attitude. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. Evades the attack. Super kick. Driving the foot into the jaw. That looks painful. <laughs> Bang! She throws her back in. Now the fire turning to the crowd for assurance. Four. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Oh, it's gonna happen. She saw him took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Just raking the form all across the face. What athleticism. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And there was some force on that move. Ooh, what a forearm club. She's losing some steam now. How about the sharpness of Eo's in-ring maneuvers? Almost flawless. And now Eo's in control. This is an intelligent play by Eo. Mixing up her offense, staying unpredictable. Smart strategy, attack to me. Into the barricade. Five. Ooh, hello. Return to the ring. Io Sky expertly picking her spots here. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh. Turning the tables. Fire oh. finally finding an answer to that onslaught. The U turn Alba needed in this match could have been that right there. Oh. Right into the barricade. Oh. And Io pushing an already frantic situation to another level there. Dio knows she's going to have to empty the tank to put this one away. And back into the ring she goes. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? This is going to get ugly. Hey! That's all it takes. And fire. Is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, he was doing the man the aggressor here. The barricade. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The barricade. The genius of the sky showing off a little bit for the folks on the ground. Six. Six. Oh, straight forward. Shot to the patella. Uh-oh. 
completely losing control. My favorite kind of thrashing, Cole. She has to mind the 10 count. Uh oh. EO able to fend her off. Sweeps the legs. Crushing double stop. Impressive reversal there. And back in the ring we go. We are beginning to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. To the outside. This could get wild. Coming back in the ring. <laughs> Driving the face down. think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? A kick at it, too. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, the fire with a small time. Game set. Match for Alba. Kicking out of that predicament. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. God down. The superstar goes. Moment. You can feel the growing confidence. Alba stringing together a stockpile of offense. Eo has to start volleying back somehow. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. That was nasty. Oh my, Dragon Screw. Wow, that hurt. Fly quick to counter. Extremely competitive match. This really felt like it was about more than just.